Race 2, ZE Turf Handicap Chase over 2 mile 4 furlongs and 0 to 140. Number 1, Pure Force C back with Grey Rose Bay for John Morgan, Capstick Oleander for Davy Ladd, Early Bird for Daniel French, Kilachi Adventure for James Shea, Teasel Scores also for Davy Ladd, All Looks Good for Joshua Sullivan, Mrs. Dorr for Kevin Meenham, Petra Celli Maria for Thomas Rogers, Pum Paulina for Paul O'Neill, and some gal for Derek Hinton. Makes up 11 of them to go over 2.5 miles here at Gelman. Race to the week. You can wait for it to settle down as they approach the first fence. 16. It's some gal that leads us over. Oh, we lost one there. Pam Paulina's gone for Paul O'Neill. Unlucky. The connections there loses one at the first. So we're down one. It's we'll get over the second, although a really bit of a mistake towards the rear by Capstick on the end of the grape. But up front, it's some gal that leads us from on the inside, Grey Rose Bay and Pure Force. And then it's back to Mrs. Doyle. Then Kilachi Adventure. And then Bird and the Blue Silks against the fence. A wide of him, a Petrocelli Neria. Blue Silks. Teasel scores. Capstick Oleander together. The Davy Robinson horses. And just a towards the rear is all that's good for Josh Sutherland. Well known. Silks. They get to the third. Oh, couple of mistakes there. Most of all was some gal. He's allowed the big white horse Grey Rose Bait to lead us into the fourth. Takes it well the lead up. The mistake at the rear by Petrocelli Neria. We're going to be led by Grey Rose Bait. Pure Force in second. Some gal's third now. The inside is Early Bird and the light blue silks. Out wide in the red cap and green suits is Kilachi Adventure. Half a length back to Mrs. Dawn with Kevin Mean Hands. They will open that poor jump there by All Looks Good. Let's drift back. A little bit of time. They're being strung out here quite well as they go with the six. Nobody's over it. Teasel some scores. Mistake on landing. But it's Grey Rose Bay that leads us away from the stands now from Pure Force and Second. Larchie Adventure and Sun Gal. Blue Silks of Early Bird. And this is Doyle. First of the Greys. Capstick or the end up. Petrocelli Neria. Teasel scores against the fence. It all looks good. Been hurried along a little bit towards the rear. So it's Grey Rose Bay still. Sun Gal drawing alongside. Oh, and he's gone. Grey Rose Bay. Got into it too close. Faller there for John Morgan. Unlucky. Leaves Sun Gal out in front on his own. Dale Hinton. Length and a half to Coletti Adventure to take the water over it. So it's some gal that leads us from Kalachi Adventure and Pure Forces. You one, two, three. They're about three, four lengths away from Early Bird and Mrs. Doll together. Capstick Oleander's got himself a little bit stuck in. Nowhere to go there. The first of the Greys. The outside of that is Petro Chenny Marriott. It all looks good wide. Oh, the poor jump there by Petro Chenny Marriott. A bit of a mistake. Just to the rear now as Teasel scores, but it's still some gal inside the mile now from Pure Force, Kilachi Adventure. And one, two, three. And so half back to Early Bird. It's this big dip, so the leaders are over it. Some good jumps there, nice big jump by Teasel scores. Comes up well on the outside, but Pure Force is taking it up now from some gal, Kilachi Adventure. They're getting close to that, the 12th. Or jump there by Teasel scores after jumping really well, but some gal leads them downhill now as they swing left handed on their way back home. But it's some gal for by half a length to Pure Force, Karachi Adventure, Early Bird. They're all in close here. Comes Kevin Meanhands, Mrs. Doyle. They get over the 13th. It's still some gal from Pure Force moving well now as Early Bird under a little bit of pressure. Out wide is all looks good. Wider still is Teasel scores, and Petrocelli Mary has got a little bit to do from there as we come down to half a mile from home. And it's some gal. Now being challenged by Pure Force, but moving up smoothly on the outside is All Looks Good. So it's All Looks Good that throws down the challenge to the lead, and it's All Looks Good and some gal. These two both under a bit of pressure now as we come down to three furlongs from home and three to jump. But it's All Looks Good and some gal as they approach the penultimate. All Looks Good takes it up by a length now from some gal. Here comes Capstick Oleander, Teasel Force. Pure Force is going backwards, but it all looks good for Josh Sutherland at the moment. Inside the two, they get over the penultimate. Leads by about a couple of 
length bit here comes Teasel Scores. All looks good. Teasel Scores. Caps to Goliander. The Davy Robertson horses trying to hunt down Josh Sutherland and they may well do it. It all looks good. Alongside here comes Teasel Scores. We're inside the final furlong up the hill here. All looks good. Just holding on by a nose but he Teasel Scores. Edges in front. Teasel Scores by a nose from All Looks Good. Caps to Goliander on the inside. Pushing on again as All Looks Good. It's found more. All Looks Good's going to take this from Caps to Goliander and Teasel Scores. He's got a fine stable this year's Josh Sutherland takes the second race of the week the second race here at Cheltenham looked like it was beaten but just found a little bit more at the end there takes it from Capstick on the end and Teasel scores the two and three for David Robertson I think fourth was Kevin Meanahan's Mrs Doyle and it is all that's good for Joshua Sutherland so two wins back to back Capstick on the end for David Ladd along with Teasel scores Mrs Doyle for Kevin Meanahan was fourth and the early bird for Daniel French was fifth